Hi, this is Diana. I'm Tramel. This is Liking Our Love. Yes, and thank you for hanging out with us, man. Thank you for watching. All right, we want this to be a place where you can come, get encouragement, get equipped, so that you can protect your most valuable relationships. All right, and uh, with that said, make sure that you subscribe, man. In our last video, we talked about being unequally yoked and, uh, and how important it is to basically to have the same values and goals uh, as the person who you are uh, dating. If you are committed to anything in life, right, with your heart and with your mind and the person that you're dating or pursuing is not as committed or not even close to being as committed as you are to that particular thing, then you're gonna be unequally yoked and it's gonna be, it's, it's probably gonna be hard for you all to to uh, to like each other, to like your love, right? And to enjoy your relationship. And uh, so we talked about the importance of that. Today, we're gonna talk about those who are already married and, uh, and particularly what, like some things that you can do and that we can do to make our relationship a healthy relationship. So the first thing we want to talk about is the importance of prayer in your relationship, man. Um, you know, I believe prayer is important. Um, so, but what I want to do is pass the buck to Diana and ask you, do you believe prayer is important uh, in a relationship, in a marriage? Uh, and if you do, then please share why. Uh, yes, I absolutely believe that prayer is important. Um, the reason why for us uh, is just the fact that not just our marriage, but us individually, like our just our lives, the foundation of our lives is Christ following Jesus. So our relationship with God um, is just so intertwined in everything, like our decision making, the places we go, the things we say, everything that we do, it like it goes back to our faith. And so I think it's so important for us to be able to um, just kind of work on that foundation together. Um, prayer is just, that's a way that we communicate with God. So it's like, he's so important to us individually. Like we just have to bring him into our marriage. And you know, as we take time out and pray together, yeah, it's like we're working, we're working on the foundation. We're working on us together, but us individually as well. No doubt. I love that. I love that. Yeah, I agree with everything you said. You know, um, I'll just add to that. One one thing that I observed, you know, it's funny because you might be watching this and you might not be married. Um, but, you know, I, I remember the first time I heard you pray. <laughs> and so I wasn't, this is, Diana and I were not even in a romantic relationship. We didn't even talk to one another. Hardly, I don't know. We were going to the same church, and Diana is a very well. She's a very quiet person, you know. Um, well, considered to be a, a quiet person, very laid back, you know. But when I heard her pray, I was like, "What did three kids gotta raise them? Come on, one wife, that's one crew, that's five trails gotta blaze them. Get your head up when you mess up. Fix your eyes on the gold. Don't you let up when you fed up. None of guys that can."